Welcome to this GIMP tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an animation, how to make a uh, plasma, make it look like it's um, staticking uh, with this TV. The link will be in the description. Okay, so uh, first what you're going to do is you are going to um, make a new layer. And um, we are going to select the TV screen, whatever the image would be. So, um, just select around the TV. And it should be pretty accurate. You want to try and be. And that's pretty good. Let's go around and uh, fix these edges. Yeah. Zoom in. So, around 200, and we're going to, um, Add to s current selection. So uh, right here, and we need to zoom in pretty far. And of course, we're just fixing up the selection. So um, select there, 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 there. <laughs> just trying to keep it clean. There, and just um. Add it to the selection. Alright. <clears throat> and now we're going to subtract from the current selection. Because right here it's um off the line. So just uh, move down here. Alright. So view fit image to window. Okay. And on the new layer, we're going to fill this in with black. Actually, no, let's fill that in with white. Alright. And select none. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so um, now what you're going to do is um, on a alpha to selection, the uh, white screen. And we're going to go filters noise RGB noise <clears throat> and you can kind of see that's pretty staticky but you're gonna click correlated noise and undo independent RGB turn it all up and then click independent RGB alright so that's pretty staticky it looks like it's pretty staticky and click OK so it's um adding noise okay um <clears throat> and um now we're going to make a new layer and we're going to do the exact same thing so filters reshow rgb noise cancel that because we have to fill it in with white after we fill it in with white we're going to go filters, noise, RGB noise, and we're just going to um, unclick correlated, and we're just going to uh, mess it around with it a little bit, sort of, maybe like turn up the alpha, just subtle differences, that way it looks like it's being animated, and click OK. So now, when you uncheck the um, visibility, it looks like it's being animated. And you can't really see that, but um, you will in a minute. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck the eye and then duplicate the TV and uncheck the eye on one of the TVs. And then we're going to go image merge visible layers and click merge and then we're gonna check the other TVs and uncheck the one that we just merged and go image merge visible layers and click merge so now you have two TVs um, 
and you can select none two TVs that have static on them and if you go filters animation playback and you click play it looks like it's being plasma is esque alright and uh, can unclick and we can escape from this okay and um, sorry <coughs> um, alright so now that we have this um, we are going to go file save as and um uh sorry i didn't want you guys seeing anything <coughs> and uh we're just going to save it as plasma tv animation dot gif click save and click save as animation and click export and it'll be loading a little bit not responding and keeps on loading this may take a while because it's a big image but I prefer working with an original <coughs> and just uh, 100 milliseconds is great great loop forever it's fine and click save and there you go it shows up right there alright you can exit out of that exit out of that Okay, so um, thanks for watching this tutorial, and um, this is what it looks like, so that's pretty cool. So um, it sort of has the plasma effect, and you can add more uh, layers if you want. Yeah, so thanks for watching this tutorial. Sorry, I've been gone for a lot while I've been busy, sort of, and it should have better playback than this. Alright, thanks for watching.